What's going on everyone? It's Ivan again. Uh, today I just wanted to show you the three ways how you can adjust your video uh, size in your ClickFunnels. Uh, so the first way, it's very easy, very straightforward. You don't really need me, but the options are limited. Okay. The second way, there's many more options, but it's not as user friendly and it's not very efficient to use. And last but not least, the third method, I'm saving the best for last for you guys. All right. So it's probably the most efficient, the easiest, the quickest method to use. Okay. So let's jump straight in. So I'll click edit page. And here, by the way, as you can see, I still have my default fonts. Um, so if you want to um, know what the default font is or whatnot, and just see the video about that, just click this video right over here. Okay. So uh, here's this video uh, that was put in to us already by ClickFunnels, uh, some random video. So the first way you do it, like I said, it's very easy. It just literally says styles with, and it gives you kind of the options you have. Okay. So for this option, you only have three, so you can do it full width. You can do three fourths of the width, or you can make it half. Okay. So that's option one, very easy, but what if you want something in between? Okay. So if you want something in between, we can go over here where it says custom width. So one thing you should know about this is that the numbers we put in here are completely relative. So this is something that I didn't know at the beginning and I would keep putting in um, the same ratio of numbers over and over again, even though the numbers itself were getting bigger, but the ratio was the same. And my video for some reason did not change. Well, for some reason, right? So, um, so for example, I'll put in one here and one here. I'll click save and let's see what the video is going to look like. Okay. Okay. So I'm not, I'm not going to say anything yet. I'll let, I'll let you guys take a look at this first. 100, 100. Click save. Okay, so it looks exactly, exactly the same. Click 500. Looks exactly, exactly the same. Okay, so in conclusion, the numbers here are completely relative to one another. So if you have 500, 500, what the system is giving you is one to one. That means your height is going to be as big as your width. Okay, so what I do if I, if I use this way, I usually put 100 in here for my custom width. And then I make my scale a certain percentage of my width. So, uh, for example, if I want my height to be, you know, something that looks like this, maybe it's about 60%. So if I put in 60% here, I'll click save. What this is saying that there's 10 width pixels or whatever it is, right? 10 width dimensions um, for every six of height, okay? So I'll click preview and that's about what it is, okay? If I make this, for example, 110, this is gonna um, decrease the ratio by a bit. So your custom width will be bigger, okay, in comparison to your height. So if I click save here, you'll notice your width is gonna be a bit wider in comparison. So see how it's how it is a bit wider, okay? So if we go go further with this, you know, suppose I make it 150. Now it's right. So because there's no space in that column. It, it decreases the width to maintain those ratios, okay? So this option's there, but it's not as user-friendly, uh, and you also have to click Save before you click Preview. So to me, it's not the most efficient way. So what is the most efficient way is actually um, the same way we use to add borders to individual columns and multi-column rows, um, which is another video you can see right over here. But basically, you would click on Columns here on the right-hand side, and scroll down to your video, where the video is, click right column, and then all you have to do to adjust the size of the video, really simple guys, is just um, scroll this. That's it. So if you make it 200, it's gonna be as small as the video could possibly be. If you make it um, zero, it's gonna be as big as it possibly can be. So this is exactly the in-between, right? So you can play around with this, make it whatever you want to, okay? So that's about it. Thanks for watching. If you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, um, Please write them down below. Please subscribe and I'll see you guys next time.